hey guys what's up it's base odyssey gamer here and today as you may notice we're not in our survival world now this is actually a video in preparation for my next survival world video little spoiler alert we're going to be building a kelp xp farm now i'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial here and this uh this farm is completely expandable you can make it as humongous as you want but for now we're just going to make it as big as we're going to make it so the items that you will need are you will need piston just normal pistons i'm not going to give any quantities uh, because you'll see how many you need as we go along but as i say the design is completely expandable obviously kelp to actually put their plant there you're going to need redstones some redstone you're going to need one repeater per piston you're going to need observers and you're going to need obviously water buckets probably two so you can make an infinite water source but if you're building it next to the ocean then you just need one bucket a few signs smokers now these can be furnaces but smokers will smelt the kelp quicker so i would recommend using them chests hoppers and then of course a block to build with in my survival world i'll probably just use something like cobblestone and diorite and granite just because that's what i have probably a load of wood as well but here i'm just going to use some iron blocks because well uh they're very easy to spot okay so let's get building first mine out a two block gap and then this is where i am going to have my four fun, uh, smokers actually so you are going to need quite a bit of iron for this and then when you place these furnace uh not these furnaces these hoppers in you're going to just want to place them facing in the direction of the hole then these will just lead into a load of chests i'm just going to make two double chests for now but you might want to make more you might want to make less i don't know completely up to you depends how big you build it and how much kelp you want from it because hopefully if you afk at it for a bit then it will get you lots of kelp and of course lots of xp now then on top of these you want to place in your smokers and then on top of these you want to have yeah on top of these you want to have i'm sorry but even more hoppers so this design does it has to go up in twos I mean, it can work if you don't go up in twos but it's just a bit easier if you go up in twos oh, why isn't that placing there we go and then another one here okay here we go then we're going to have in the middle two more hoppers now i promise you i'm pretty sure that these are our last hoppers now from here you're actually well you're going to want to extend outwards to the side so let's do that now i'm i'm not going to make it the biggest farm in the world but i'm still going to make it a decent size i'm gonna extend out three blocks on each side right let's go here and then 
I am just going to want to put some back, uh, blocks here. Now, depending on how far you make the water flow up here, then you might want to extend this up by two just so that you don't around into the whole edge of it, just so that you don't get any stray kelp. Now, over here, just going to go here, place in those blocks, and then fill the whole thing with signs, except for in fact no just the whole thing doesn't matter if they're tilting sideways didn't mean to do that as i say it doesn't matter if they're tilt tilting sideways i would just prefer not want it to look as neat as possible since i mean it's a youtube video want it to be nice we want to get views okay and now i'm going to extend a little barrier around the edge a bit later I would recommend extending this out around five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I would say that's a good amount. Okay, let's fill in these blocks. Okay, now let's make a little border. Now on the edges I am going to make it two blocks high, but you don't have to waste blocks doing this if you don't want to if you don't mind losing a few random pieces of kelp. So you won't lose that many, but just making better efficiency. Now the kelp shouldn't fly fly this far, but to be honest I'm just gonna put a wall on the edge of it. Because better safe than sorry, especially because we have infinite iron blocks. <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to actually this is where we start the the farm part. Now I would recommend that when you go AFK on this, you go AFK quite high up, just because it's based on the ground. So you might get blown up so i'd recommend depending on how high you make it just afking about here let's set the time today slash time set day okay looking even nicer okay so this is where we're going to start the design okay so we're going to build up one block here and then we actually need our pistons I can get rid of that wait oh no sorry silly me you need to go here and guys comment what you want me to see what you want to see in my next videos I'm all up for suggestions if you want me to if you want a bit more trail makers comment i'm hoping for another trail makers video next week yeah so as you can see i've built one block up and then i've put a line of pistons now i'm sure that you like redstone geniuses out there can would make a much more efficient design but to be honest i like to think i'm kind of good at redstone but i'm not too good at redstone so this is just my attempt, or oh, in fact, I'm wrong here. All you need to do is place in one observer for maximum resource saving. I just like to place it in on the end. I think that you might as well, but to be honest, it's completely up for options. You could place it in the middle. You could, in fact, if you wanted it to look symmetrical, you could have it in the whole, you could have a whole line of them. But for me, I'm just going to put, you know what, I'll put one in the middle. And then you put another line of blocks around it. Now guys, comment if, once I've posted this, you've actually followed the tutorial and built this. Because it would be really nice if I could get a few more comments. Bring it in. Okay. So this 
is actually the first layer done that's it it's as simple as that and as i say extend it as high as your dreams want i think i'm probably going to extend it up this layer and then maybe one more afterwards but i don't know so again place it wait oh sorry i've done it wrong i always make this mistake the observer line this you can just grow the kelp on this block so then you have your pistons just on the block behind it it should look exactly symmetrical obviously except for the observer uh, that can just go wherever you want i'm gonna put it here this time of course wrong way around okay then we fill in the rest of the blocks and uh, then you know what sure i'll make it one block higher so again just do one block diagonally next to it one line of blocks and just saying guys i would not recommend building this with full iron blocks i mean if you want to be that person that completely follows the tutorial block to block then all right go ahead but it's gonna cost you a lot especially if you want to make it much bigger than i have so as i say it's completely extendable this design but if you make it more than 16 on each and 15 no in fact if you make it more than 14 on each side of the observer then you are going to need to place in a second observer because otherwise well your redstone line signal will run out okay let's place one over here now okay then if we just fill in all of this now again this is by far not the most efficient design you do lose a bit of kelp some kelp does get slightly stuck on these blocks but to be honest there's nothing that i can really do about that i mean i don't know if this would work but you could make this whole thing one block higher then on top of this put like some soul sand i don't know anyway then up here you want to do the same first process but then actually extend it out a few blocks i'm just going to extend it out three blocks you can extend it out a maximum of i think eight blocks is how far water flows but you don't actually need to extend it out far at all now going to make a little border around this since well there's no kelp growing here so we don't need a too big border and we will put the water in at the very end just because well otherwise it's going to get annoying and for the tutorial i will just turn the tick speed up just to sh give an example of it okay so you can make these walls again it's completely customizable you can make these walls as big as you want so let's fill in that gap we'll definitely lose some kelp there i usually make it like i don't know two or three like one or two more blocks out after this but it depends if you want to be really safe but use maybe a stack a stack or so more blocks then you'll probably want to put it like even four more blocks out but uh let's try one more block out okay Is that in line no this should be big enough i would say but i would recommend making it one more block out <clears throat> so that should be three blocks here three blocks not including the one that like the piston observers are on 
because then you're pretty easy, safe from losing any kelp especially from the top one because that blasts the kelp over there and that's the reason why you want to make that quite long to be honest i don't know if this is long enough if it isn't maybe i'll have to make a bigger backboard but that's the reason why you want the water to flow quite far for not flaw, far far <coughs> thursday afternoon not in the mood of speaking english right on to the redstone part of it now back here you might want to light it up just for a bit more visibility but you really don't need to now if i'm not mistaken then the redstone is pretty easy you do need quite a bit of redstone dust but all that you need to do is build one line behind the observer then fill it with redstone then one bit should go into the observer i would recommend actually unlike i said earlier putting the observer in the middle because then it goes out 14 blocks on each side i think but as i say i'm not too good at redstone then you'll go you do the exact same thing on the other side you'll go out by you'll go out so that you're in line with the wall leave one gap for the piston where the piston is and then you'll extend one block outwards and then kind of curve back in right and then you can just fill in this okay then do the same thing on the other side and then fill the whole thing with redstone except in fact we need the repeaters here so the repeaters go there just going into the pistons i would make the redstone that it, so that it was on that level and then the whatever you call it then the redstone dust was where this hair block is but that doesn't really work since you have the redstone line for that there let's just make the time day again nobody likes the darkness okay i'll show you this one more time <coughs> and then let and then i will cut back so again you make one line and then it's a bit cramped up here you fill it with redstone as much as physically possible then you go out by two blocks on each side you can leave a hole for the piston if you just want to break the block but you're probably going to have to put the block somewhere around there anyway so there's not too much point in it and then next to the pistons build a line of blocks and then next to that line of blocks which is next to the pistons in complicated terms you go across and then you fill everything with redstone except for the blocks next to the pistons the first line of blocks next to the pistons be careful not to make them um yeah be careful not to put the ticks up on them but that's what it should look like okay i will now cut back once i've done the bottom one okay guys i'm back now we have finished the redstone just did the same one on the bottom row now hopefully i don't exactly know it'll be a bit embarrassing if i have done it wrong but i think that i've done it right that's a big thing and in fact there's a chance that the redstone is just too long and in fact it is too long so what you're going to want to do is on the block here this one right here break that piece of redstone and place in a repeater and hopefully that should make it long enough okay now do that on each level or maybe you're just making one level if so then do it on your one level as you can tell it does look a bit uneven which slightly annoys me 
but I'm just going to use the most resource efficient design with only one observer to show that it, what it can look like in a survival world. But I've done that. <coughs> I can remove these from my inventory. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Might need iron blocks. And then it's time to place in the water. So you can just place a water bucket on every single one right here. It will make the observers go off, but that's fine. That just shows that they're actually working. Okay, they do look, the pistons do look a bit crappy. But that's fine. That, that works. Okay, perfect. It's all worked. Now let's release the water again. You see, now it's not wonky now that the water is right. Okay, and we can even put in the water over here. So behind these signs, you want a little bit of water. Then that should lead straight into the hoppers. Now, in fact, I am just going to get signs back into my inventory. Oops. Right, here we go. Now, does that... Yeah, it does make it flow there. Good, I was right. Oops. Don't want to break any blocks when there's water anywhere just don't break any blocks when there's water near now what your the final step that you're going to want to do is place in the kelp now the water will start flowing a bit funny just because well it's kind of good and kind of bad but kelp creates infinite water sources but it also grows quite quickly. Then finally on this row you want to place in the kelp. Oh, you see it's already growing everywhere. Okay, so now... as So this system isn't fully automatic in the sense that it will provide you with fuel. But... It won't automatically load us up with fuel. Tell me if you can find out a way and to fully load it up with, uh, to fully automatically load it up with fuel. And the only reason why that doesn't work, it would work, but you can't smelt dried kelp. You can only smelt dried kelp blocks, which is really annoying. So. Up first, it is a bit on and off because you have to AFK for like, I don't know, 30 minutes just with using normal fuel. And then basically you're going to want to go mining for coal and a lot of coal and put it in your, furn in your furnaces or smokers or blast furnaces. That's just a waste of like iron and it's really inefficient. Now then you want to basically save up dried kelp then once you have enough uh, uh, quite a bit of dried kelp i would recommend that once you have about a stack of dried kelp in each smoker then you can go afk for i would say over an hour before they run out but now i'm quickly it's nearly the end of the video so i would like to do two things number one turn up the tick speed number two for you guys to like subscribe and comment what you want me to do next and share it with your friends now random tick speed set whoops random tick speed 
Uh, we'll set it to 50. No, we'll go with 100. Okay, so the kelp should be growing really quickly now. Now this will test if the walls are big enough. Oh, there we go, our first load. And you see, you can put more observers in than, for example, this observer might set. There might be an observer here that senses that. So it might be a little bit more efficient. But if we look at this. Ah, okay, that is a little issue. It seems that you can't get into that chest. Slab. Easy fix though. Now you can. And you can see we have kelp going through and there's kelp in the smokers. You see, it's all great. And it should evenly ish split it, I think. I personally. Okay, that's a slight fail. It hasn't evenly split it. And as you can see, we're losing a little bit of kelp. You might want to extend up the walls a little bit more. But mostly it's fine. Now, and then, all you need to do now. I would recommend only two smokers, but it's your choice. Again, if you can find out a way for it to evenly split, that would be great. If not, then, sadly, that's the end. Got even more flowing in. Now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help me out. It gets me more views it encourages me to carry on and it just helps me out so much so i would like to thank you and say goodbye see you in the next video